Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be discussing the most dangerous animals in Florida. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Number one, the American alligator. Alligators in Florida are extremely common. They can be found anywhere from large bodies of water to small retention ponds. These reptiles have an extremely strong bite and can be very dangerous. It is best to keep an eye on small children and pets because alligators tend to go for smaller and mid-sized prey. People commonly mistake alligators for crocodiles, but they do indeed have differences. Alligators have a more rounded snout, while crocodiles have a more pointed snout. It isn't entirely uncommon for alligators to be spotted on golf courses and sometimes in residential neighborhoods that have nearby bodies of water. Although these reptiles usually won't attack on sight, they will if they feel threatened or mistake you for prey. Number two, Florida black bears. The Florida black bear is the largest land animal that will be found in Florida. For the past few hundred years, the population of black bears has been dwindling due to human interference, so they are now rarely seen. These annuals are usually found in wooded areas, but they do sometimes wander around residential areas. Unfortunately, the black bear population has taken a hit from car collisions as well. Over time, the bears have become less afraid of humans, which causes some of them to wander into many of Florida's roads and highways. If you live near or on the edge of a wooded area, it is a good idea to take preventative measures against attracting bears. Avoid keeping trash outside for long periods of time, and also look into bear-proof trash containers. Although these bears don't usually attack people on sight, they still are extremely dangerous animals and have attacked people in the past. Their sharp claws and deadly bite force is nothing to be messed with. Number three, sharks. There are many different types of sharks that inhabit the water around Florida. These include black tip sharks, spinner sharks, sandbar sharks, black nose sharks, sharp nose sharks, bonnet head sharks, lemon sharks, nurse sharks, scalped hammerhead sharks, bull sharks, and finally, the rarely seen great white shark. Only bull sharks and great white sharks can cause very serious damage to humans if attacked. These two species of sharks have teeth that are designed to shear its prey, instead of simply hold. Out of a little over a thousand shark attacks in the US since 1690, only 50 have been fatal. Nevertheless, be careful swimming at dawn or dusk and do not go too far from shore. The shark attack capital of the world is known as an area called Volusia County in Florida. Volusia County is located on the east coast of Florida, just northeast of Orlando. Although attacks are considered rare, this stretch of coastline has seen the most concentrated case of attacks. Number four, spiders. There are two species of spiders in Florida that are especially dangerous. These include the brown recluse and black widow spiders. Although they are quite uncommon in Florida, brown recluse spiders are known to hide in secluded or unfrequented areas such as an old pile of clothing or dark corners of your home. The venom from a brown recluse bite can land you in the hospital and should not be left untreated. Side note, I was personally bitten by a brown recluse spider on my head of all places. The bite caused this large bump that uh, came with this throbbing pain. I went to the hospital after a few days, they didn't know I was actually bit. And lo and behold, the doctor told me, you were bitten by a brown recluse spider. Not fun. The other type of dangerous spider in Florida is the Southern Black Widow. These spiders are much more common than the brown recluse and are also considered more dangerous. The Southern Black Widow can be identified by the hourglass shaping on their backs. Similar to the brown recluse, the Black Widow tends to be found in unfrequented areas such as an unfinished basement, garage, or wood chip pile. If you happen to be bitten by a Black Widow spider, immediately head to the nearest hospital. Number five, snakes. Florida is home to a wide array of venomous and non-venomous snakes. Out of the 50 species of snakes living in Florida, there are six that are venomous and considered extremely dangerous to humans. These snakes include southern copperheads, cottonmouths, eastern coral snakes, eastern diamondbacks, timber rattlesnakes, and the most common being the dusky pygmy rattlesnakes. None of these snakes are known to outwardly attack humans, but they are known to bite if accidentally stepped on or gotten too close to. A bite from any of these venomous snakes warrants an immediate trip to the hospital where you will likely receive a dose of antivenom. 
Don't try sucking the venom out or simply think you can leave it untreated. Out of the non-venomous snakes in Florida, Burmese pythons are considered very dangerous. These pythons are not native to Florida as most of them were brought overseas as pets. Many of these pythons have intentionally been let loose when they got too big or accidentally escaped during floods and storms. As a result, the Burmese python population in the Everglades has skyrocketed over the past couple decades. Some experts think that there could be over 100,000 of these pythons in the Everglades today. Since their dramatic rise in population, the Burmese python has been a disruptive force to the environment, in turn causing a state-funded hunting of these reptiles. Some of these pythons can grow to around 20 feet long in extreme cases. They are known to constrict their prey before consuming it. P.S. Editing this part was definitely the most difficult because I am terrified of snakes. Number 6. Wild Boars Wild boars are the descendants of the domestic pig that started inhabiting North America in the 1500s. These wild boars are known to weigh around 200 to 300 pounds and can be very aggressive. Although they usually only attack when feeling in danger, they have been known to randomly attack as well. These boars can also carry a host of bacteria and diseases such as tuberculosis, pseudorabies, and anthrax. If you happen to see one of these wild boars, I would recommend walking the other way. Number 7. Florida Panthers Florida Panthers are closely related to the cougar and are known to roam isolated and wooded areas and swamplands. Much like the black bears spoken about earlier, the panther population in Florida has dropped drastically over the past few centuries due to human effects on the environment. These big cats can jump an astonishing 15 feet vertically and 45 feet horizontally. Panthers are considered extremely dangerous to humans due to their sharp claws, sharp teeth, and agility, but there hasn't been a recorded attack on a human in Florida. I personally think there might have been, but that person likely didn't live to tell the tale. Overall, there are definitely a good amount of dangerous animals in Florida. As long as you keep an eye out and don't go in the wrong places, then you should be safe. Liking and subscribing to my channel means so much, and thank you so much for watching. Check out my online store, David Allen Prince. I mostly make products that are tailored to different cities and states in the USA. You can find coffee mugs, hoodies, t-shirts, iPhone cases, and candles. I truly love making YouTube videos and would love to make it my full-time job. So if you want to support me, check out the shop. Get 10% off at checkout with code DAVE. Shop link will be in the bio. And if your city or state isn't on one of my products, DM me on Instagram and I'll add it to my shop. Thank you very much.